Simeon has one of the worst reputation in the fitness industry. Standing at 6'1", weighing anywhere from 225 to 235 pounds, ripped, Simeon's FFMI score is in the same range as Arnold, Sergio, Frank, Lee, Seabum, and many others. Conversations about Simeon's physique began to flood for him shortly after his Instagram gained some traction. I think I found my goal physique, Simeon Panda. I don't know how accurate this is, but a 31-inch waist and a 50-inch chest. Majority of the comments would discuss Simeon's physique in awe. But only five months later, the focus of the conversation would change. Simeon Pada competes in Natty competition and claims to be 100% Natty. I have a show in October next year, and if this guy had stood next to me on stage, I would have lost my. I bust four to five times a week, watch everything I eat, I sleep a lot in order to maximize my gains, in order to be 210 pounds at 6'3 and 79% body fat. And then, just like him, come with 240 pounds of muscle, 6'1 and 6% fat and claim all night. Simeon Panda and others like him makes me lose my That's just a joke to me, as someone who looks like that can even have the nerve to claim Natty and compete in Natty comps. It's just ridiculous, he and anyone who encourages this should be ashamed. I have nothing against gear, but someone who has obviously done multiple cycles should never be doing this. Just keep quiet and do you. February 21, 2015, the second part to a Q&A video between Simeon and his close friend Eusicilis was uploaded to YouTube. The video starts off like any other Q&A video until this unexpected question was asked. <laughs> this question um, people, when, when I asked it last time, people said, why, why do you, why do you answer it? Why, why don't you just avoid it and keep quiet like everyone else does? Everyone <laughs> else is keeping quiet for a reason. I'm not. And there's a reason why I'm not, because for you guys, it's a big deal. For me, it's like, it's an easy answer. No, I don't. Never have. Can we move on? The nervous reaction coupled with an arrogant and condescending response to a stir up conversation across the fitness community. So Simeon Panda, just like every other lying piece of shit I've talked about, claims he's all natural and he's about to face my judgment. In a now deleted video, popular fitness YouTuber Vegan Games will voice the complaints and criticism the fitness industry had for Simeon. So let's have a look at the evidence and here's exhibit A. So you're trying to tell us that you're not on steroids when you're about the same size, if not bigger, than Arnold Schwarzenegger who has been on high doses of anabolic steroids since he was a teenager. According to the study of 157 male athletes, it was found that a fat-free mass index of 25 was the limit for natural bodybuilders who did not take steroids. And what is Simeon Panda's fat-free mass index? 29! You win! You're the best natural bodybuilder of all time! This video will put Simeon in the spotlight of the community, encouraging other accounts to chime in on the conversation. Feeling the pressure, Simeon will upload a response video. This video is it's a long time coming. Um, I, I, I really could have done it sooner, but I didn't. I just didn't think it was that big a deal. So I did two things this weekend. I did a polygraph test, also known as a lie detector test. Uh, same test that you see on the Maury Show, uh, same test that you see on Jeremy Carr. Opinion and conclusion. Based on the test and during the examination and interviews, it is the examiner's opinion that Simeon Panda should be classified as showing no deception indicated in relation to the questions numbered one and two listed above, you know? So um, I went on this weekend, uh, Saturday, and um, I had my um, hair sample taken for the drugs test. I'm here at the drug testing center in, um, Despite all of Simeon's effort, the community had already made up its mind on the issue. Keep lying straight to the face of your loyal and dedicated fans. True inspiration. The most difficult thing wasn't passing the polygraph and drug test. It was actually keeping a straight face while you make this video. To make matters worse, Vegan Game will follow up with a response video, providing valid arguments that completely discredits Simeon's test. One and a half inches of hair can detect drug use 90 days prior to testing? You don't have one and a half inches inches of hair, you fucking idiot! And the thing is, hair testing isn't that good. What the fuck are you talking about? You're not a natural bodybuilder, and no one hates natural bodybuilding. What it is, is people hate fucking liars! Shortly after this video was uploaded, viewers noticed that both videos addressing Simeon had been removed from his channel. Why was Vegan Gains video taken down? Vegan Gains had uploaded Simeon's workout program, and he was being threatened with a lawsuit. Scared by a possible lawsuit, Vegan Gains deleted all videos addressing Simeon. To be fair, showing the content of Simeon's workout plan is a copyright violation that can be pursued in court. However, the fitness community on YouTube will see this as an attempt to silence his biggest critic. But like the Streisand effect, the more you try to suppress something, the more attention it will draw. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I don't want to do a video, John. I'll tell you why. I, 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 
They're motivated by what I do. That's all I'm about. So whatever this is going to be about, I'm not interested in it. Good to see you. On March 15, 2019, Call Out YouTuber Kenny K.O. will upload a video showcasing a conversation between him and Simeon at a fitness expo. In the video, Simeon recognizes Kenny in the crowd, refuses to do an interview with a backhanded comment, and leaves the scene. Although this video doesn't paint Simeon in the best light, their next altercation would not be so flattering. What I'm not going to do is give him the opportunity to, you know, clickbait, get a video, and I will be on his video. This is what he will show in his video. Whereas I will show you exercises, nutrition, and trying to help. This guy is a troll and that's what he does. So today, unfortunately, we can't have you, you know, swirl what is a good opportunity for me to communicate with everyone. I don't even want to hear anything you've got to say. You don't provide any good content to the industry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Training. It's just a simple question, like if you're natural or not. Again, Simeon was back in the spotlight, but this time, more fitness account will weigh in on the conversation. No, of course he's not natural. Are you freaking kidding me? You think I had to do extensive research? I sound like a broken record at this point, but there's nobody to hold people like this accountable. I really don't have- Contrary to what you would think, call-out videos like these actually helped Simeon grow in the beginning. The Vegan Gates call-out marks the most time Simeon Panda was searched on the internet. During the Kenny KO call-out, Simeon's monthly views went from 2 million to 7 million views at its peak, gaining him 160 subscriber in the same month. But as time went on, the fitness community's understanding of steroid was progressing. Many influencers started talking about their PED use, making it harder for influencers like Simeon to take advantage of his audience ignorance. Larry Wheels is an elite world-class powerlifter who admitted to using PEDs. Larry also happens to be the same size as Simeon, which is ironic. Good to see that Simeon is still on the juice. Love to see the side-by-side -side difference of a natty bodybuilder and Simeon Panda. Simeon has such amazing genetics that even as a lifetime natural, he's the same size as Larry, who has been juicing since he was 17. With a ruined reputation and declining viewership, Simeon now stars in ads promoting questionable supplements with outrageous claims. I understand these supplement companies want you to hype up, gas up their product in order to make some sales, you know, make an impression, make it noticeable, use big words, catchy phrases. But the thing is, you have to be such a sellout to actually say these things and actually go through with filming a commercial because we all know damn well. If you're not aware, Simeon Panda is not natural. Now, I'm sorry, I don't want to be the one to burst your bubble.